sages, there is a mountain in the name Devagiri at south. Near to that is Guru Brahmana Agrahara. In that Agrahara, there was Sudanma, a worthy descendant from Bharatvajakotra. He was a Shiva Jnani. His wife Sudeha was a loving person, Pativratha, and the one who had the desire to go on the way of Dharma. Sudanma did pujas like Deva Puja, Aditi Puja as per system. He did Veda Parayana. He did Agnihotra thrice a day. He was with his Shiva Tejas equal to that of Sun God. He taught Vedas to his disciples. He has the heart to give abundantly to people who ask. He was prosperous and good in character. They didn't have children. Since he was a Shiva Jnani, he didn't think anything about it. It is Lord Shiva who gives me moksha. It is Lord Shiva who will make me divine out of the miseries of samsara, he thought. But his wife Sudeha worried much for not having children. Every day she'll tell her husband should take efforts for the birth of a child. For that he will ask, who are children? Who are parents? Who are relations? What is the link between this life and this body? Everything is maya. So do not worry for not having children. Don't talk about this to me every day. He said very strict to her. He was much interested in Shiva Dharma and was very happy. He moved away from Shuk Duk. One day, divine nature people and their families had a get together. Sudeha was talking to other Vedic scholar's wife. At that time, one of the Vedic scholar's wife said, Ma, you even without children, you are so proud. I have children. My son will enjoy my wealth. Who will enjoy your wealth? Only king should enjoy your wealth. She insulted Sudeha. Sudeha returned home, said everything to her husband. Sudanma did not worry for all that. Let them tell whatever they want. You don't take into heart all that. He said very strictly to his wife. But Sudeha said, Somehow we should get a son or else I'll leave my life. Sudanma was worried hearing that. Creating Shivagni, he did puja. When he completed his puja, he kept two flowers before God. He decided to himself, if his wife takes the flower in the right, it is God's decision that will have a son. He called his wife, pray to Lord Shiva and take a flower. Sudeha meditated on Sarvalokanath Lord Shiva. I should take the flower that tells we will get a child. She also prayed to Agni Deva and took a flower. That was a flower on the left side. Sudanma consoled his wife telling, It is Lord Shiva's desire that we have no children. Asked her to involve in Shiva Dhyan. He also left the desire that he needs a son. And he also involved in Shiva Dhyan. But Sudeha couldn't be like that. She compelled her husband to marry another girl and get children. He refused saying, if he marries another girl, then there will be a misunderstanding between him and her. But Sudeha did not leave. She asked him to marry her niece Kusuma. Sudanma refused telling, now you will accept to it. If I marry her and get a child, then you itself will fight with her. Sudeha said, she is my brother's daughter, so I will treat her well. I will work for both of you. She forced him and did a second marriage to him. Sudanma looked at his younger wife Kusuma and said, Without fighting with Sudeha, you should be with her and look after her lovingly. He took Sudeha's hand and gave it to Kusuma. Kusuma accepted her husband's words as Guru's words. Since the younger wife was her niece and as it was she who arranged the second marriage, Sudeha did all the household work by herself. One day, Sudanma taught his younger wife Shiva Puja and asked her to do every day. She also did 101 Parthivalinga Puja and immersed it in the pond nearby. Like this, the Puja she did every day exceeded 1 lakh Shivalings. Lord Shiva became happy. Kusuma gave birth to a son named Supriya. Sudanma was very much loving to his younger wife and their child. Elder wife Sudeha was confused. Her love on Kusuma and child Supriya began to reduce and she developed hatred towards them. Saunaka sages, I will tell you all what happened then. Sudeka's mind flamed in jealousy. As Supriya was born with the grace of Lord Shiva, as he grew up, he excelled in science and arts and became a genius. Their relation wished to give their daughters in marriage to him. On an auspicious day, he got married. 
all their relations showed love and spoke to kusuma no one bothered about sudeha so then ma made his son and daughter in law to sit in kusuma's lap and became much happy seeing that kusuma also was very happy sudeha was irritated to see that she cried and fell down so then ma was loving towards sudeha kusuma also respected sudeha but sudeha was always in grief seeing that once kusuma asked sudeha why are you like this don't you have the thought your son your daughter in law husband is loving you but still you are worried always why sudeha did not answer but her anger did not reduce sudeha thought only if kusuma cries her miseries will go she thought what she should do for that somehow we should kill supriya after that let anything happen she decided one day supriya and his wife were sleeping sudeha attacked him with sickle cut him into pieces and without anybody knowing it she went and put them inside in the pond where kusuma immersed more than a lakh shivalinga she came back home and lay down as though she didn't know anything sun rose kusuma bathed completed all household work did shiva puja sudanma also bathed started doing his nitya karma and shiva puja instead of being worried like every day sudeha was in peace and did the household works daughter in law woke up saw that her husband was missing she was shocked to see blood and body pieces scattered she trembled and informed kusuma sudeha was happy inside but cried out sudanma and kusuma though they heard that they continued to do shiva puja and were into shiva dhyan for two more jamas one jama is 2 hours and 24 minutes both were not worried even a little to whom we prayed so long let him wake up our son and give they thought so if lord shiva does not bless so then it is a result of our karma kusuma as usual took the lingas to which she did puja to the pond and immersed it and returned home while returning her son supriya got life and woke up from the pond and shouted ma i will also come i died and came alive kusuma became much happy lord shiva appeared before her he said i will give you a boon sudeha only killed supriya i gave life to him i will kill sudeha with my trishul kusuma replied sarveshwara she is my aunt my husband's wife we should do good for people who harm us if she gets a darshan of you all her sins will go away and she will get a good mind it is not good to do harm to her lord shiva said ask if you want any boon kusuma prayed you should take about here in this beautiful form to protect the world lord shiva said i will take about here in your name as kusumeshwar this pond in which you left the shivalingas will become my temple you have only one son through him your family lineage will grow and all will live with long life and as learned people with good intellect prosperity with wife and children your family lineage will grow he gave her boon so he took the form of linga in the name kusumeshwar in that pond so then ma and kusumma asked sudeha to come around lord shiva and parvati 101 times and do shiva puja with lord shiva's blessings the jealousy in her went away and all led a happy life whoever had a darshan of kusumeshwar all their sins will go away immediately and their prosperity will grow like a growing moon sages i said you all the jyotirlinga stories that you all asked on hearing this saunaka and other sages became happy and said they like to hear more shiva stories so the mahamuni did shiva dhyan happily and again began to sing